Number one, how to use two apps at one time. First, we're gonna open up YouTube and then hit the home button and then open up Chrome and then hit the home button. And then if we tap on the recent apps button, swipe over to YouTube. We want YouTube to be at the top. So we're gonna start with YouTube, tap on the YouTube icon, tap split screen, and then swipe over to Chrome. And now it'll stack the two apps so we can have this video playing at the top and at the bottom, I can scroll through and I can browse the internet. Now this will work with most apps. And if you wanna switch the apps that are at the bottom, you can simply drag down on this white bar and then hit the home button and then find another app that you'll want to be on the screen. So this time, let's do it with Amazon. So open up Amazon, close Amazon, and then hit the recent apps. Go back to YouTube, go to split screen, and then swipe over to Amazon. And you'll stack those just the same. And I can even take the phone and rotate it in the landscape position as well. And it will allow me to use it just that way too. You can also double tap on this white bar in the middle if you wanna switch and move the app on the left to the right and vice versa. And when you're all done, again, just drag that white bar in the middle all the way down and that will take you out of the full screen view. Number two is a really fun one. This is a hidden gesture. And basically if you take the phone and you chop like this, it'll automatically activate your flashlight. Again, all you do is do a chopping motion like this and that's what activates it, but it has to be quick. So two chops, turns it off, two chops, turns it on again. Now, if your chopping motion is not working, here's how to check your settings to see if you have it activated. So we're gonna swipe up, we're gonna go to the Moto app, or excuse me, the Moto folder, and then go to Moto. And then once you're in here, just simply swipe up and go to gestures, and then go down to fast flashlight and make sure this is turned on. Okay, yours might be toggled off, just simply turn it on, and that'll make sure when you do the two chopping motion, it'll automatically activate the flashlight. I wanna give a quick shout out to a really cool accessory I use quite a bit. This is an Anchor portable uh, battery charger, and you can simply pop it right into your charging port, and this will let you charge on the go. It charges nice and quick, and it's pretty light. Now, I can't tell you how many times I will forget to plug in my phone at night. I have a newborn baby at home, and so often I will put my phone next to the bed, but not on the charger. And so sometimes I wake up and I just need to go. And so this little guy comes in so clutch because I can just pop it in and my phone can charge while I'm getting ready for the day. And when I go out, and usually after about an hour or two, my phone is charged up to 100% and I'm good to go. So. I'll link this down below on the screen here. It's a really cool accessory, and man, this thing is just, it comes in handy so often. Number three, I wanna show you a cool shortcut to launch your camera really fast. This is another gesture. Simply just take the phone and you just do two twists like this. This will automatically send your phone into the camera mode so you can snap a picture or a video. Let me show you that again. I'm just twisting my wrist and I'm doing it twice, okay? One, two. And this automatically will take you out of whatever you're using into the camera. So if there's something really important that's happening, you can capture it really quickly. So now moving on to number four, uh, I just showed you two really cool gestures and this phone actually has a lot more gestures you can tap into. So if we swipe up and we go back to that Moto app that's in our Moto folder, and you go to the gesture section, you can see all the different gestures that are available. There's one for uh, screenshotting with three fingers. There is one that can activate a do not disturb. There's one that will automatically unlock your phone by picking it up. That's the lift to unlock. So I encourage you play around with this app because there's so many cool things in there that you can tap into that are really unique to just Motorola phones. So that is all in the Moto app. Okay, number five, I wanna show you how to customize your lock screen. All right, so this is the lock screen. The lock screen is the first screen you see when you basically turn the phone on. And if you take your finger and just simply long press on the home screen, it'll bring up this button that says customize lock screen. We're gonna tap on customize lock screen, and then it will allow you to customize a lot of the different options you see on screen. So the first thing is the time. If I tap here, I can change this clock to some of these other options here. 
This one's kind of funky. It's an analog clock and it has uh, some other pieces of metric like your battery percentage. It also has the date and it has the weather. So that's one option there. If I tap it again, I can swipe through and then this is another option of how you can lay out the lock screen. I think I'm gonna keep it on this one for now. Now after, come down here and this is another set of shortcuts. So you can change the notification style, how the phone is showing you information that's coming through. And so this is the third option that's bubble. This is the chip option and this is the list option. This is the more traditional option. So you can kind of figure out how you wanna see notifications come through. I think for now I'm gonna keep it on the list option. And then the last thing is these are app shortcuts on the left and on the right. So if there's a really important app you wanna have access to, for example, a lot of people have their phone as one of these shortcuts. So I'm gonna just tap on here and then I can come in and um, you can pick from these pre-selected ones at the top here. So flashlight, wallet, camera, or we can go down and pick an actual app. I'm gonna pick the phone for this one. And then I'm gonna tap over here and select another shortcut. Now you might wanna make this one something funner like your music. So I'm gonna tap YouTube Music, and now I'll have those two as the shortcut. And when you're all done, just simply tap on this arrow, and, oh, that's to add a city, so we'll do that later. All right, now let's take a look at our lock screen after we made some adjustments. So there it is. I can now see some of my notifications that are coming through. I have my two shortcuts now for the phone and for YouTube Music. And the only thing is, when you change the notification option, you can't see all those cool other pieces of data that were on the screen. So if we wanna change that, we can do this, hold down again, hit customize lock screen, and let's change this back to just the bubble view. And there we go. Let's check it again. Now, our notifications just come through as bubbles, but all that other cool data is gonna be at the top, our analog clock, and our weather and our alarm clock. I wanna give a quick plug to the new Samsung Galaxy Watch 8 that just came out. If you're looking for a new smartwatch, this is a really cool one. It's one I've been using every day ever since it came out. And this is actually compatible with the Motorola phone. You just have to download the Samsung wearable app and you can use this to get notifications. You can use this to track your workouts. You can also use it to listen to music. There's so many cool things that are built in. There's also even really simple functions like being able to ping your phone when it's lost from your watch. So these are all cool things. I'm gonna link this on screen right here and you guys can check out the price and see if this is something that you wanna to get to go with your Moto G5. For number six guys, this hidden feature is such a useful feature. Let's say you're on Instagram and you're reading something on your screen and you wanna highlight it and you wanna save it to your phone. Well, guess what? If you simply long press on your home button right here, you can then select all the text or some of the text that's on the screen just by dragging your finger across the text and then tapping the copy button. From here, I can hit the home button and then I can swipe up and I can drop it in any app. Maybe I wanna drop it in an email. I'm gonna hit compose. I'm gonna tap here and long press for one second and then tap paste. And just that easy, I was able to grab that text from that Instagram post and paste it into an email. You can also paste it into a, a uh, note file. You can paste it anywhere. So this is a super easy way to simply select text on screen and pull it and drop it wherever you need it. All right, guys, for this next tip, I wanna show you how to activate the Gemini Assistant. So all you really need to do is hold down on the home button of the phone right here. We're gonna hold for one second and that's gonna bring up your Gemini Assistant. And for those of you that used the Google Assistant in the past, Gemini is very similar, but it's a lot more intuitive and you can do so much more. Okay, for our next tip, I wanna show you how to manually turn on the battery saver mode. You're gonna swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down again, and swipe to your left and look for the power saving mode or battery saver. We're gonna tap here, and here we're going to turn it on. Now. You're probably saying, why would I want to turn on the battery saver? Doesn't it automatically turn on when the phone drops below 15%? So you would be correct. Now, the reason you want to know how to manually turn it on is, what if you find yourself in a situation where you're not going to be able to charge your phone for a long period of time? Maybe you're going to an amusement park or a Coachella festival or 
of just somewhere where you're not gonna have access to power for a long time, or you could find yourself in some type of a natural disaster where it could be days before you can charge. This is something you would wanna do right away because this is going to strip the phone of a lot of the background services that are running so it can conserve more battery. So this way your battery should last a lot longer than it does in a normal day. Now, since we're speaking about the battery, I also wanna show you another really cool tip, which is how to show your battery percentage in the upper right corner, because right now it just shows us the battery icon, but I don't know exactly how much battery I have left. Now, if I swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down again, it's gonna bring up a settings wheel. Let's tap on the wheel. And from here, we're gonna go to battery. And then we're gonna go to battery percentage. And now it'll always show you the exact percentage in the upper right corner. Now to me, this is super helpful because if I notice my battery is draining quickly, I wanna make sure I get to power as fast as I can. Now I wanna give a quick reminder that you can expand your storage on this phone. I'm gonna link right here to some memory card options in case you wanna add more storage. Um, the memory cards today are really inexpensive and you can double and in some cases triple the storage of the phone for only 20 or $30. So if you want to expand your storage to make sure you have a lot more space for your pictures, for your videos and your other media files, make sure you click that link right here and check out some of these memory card deals that are limited time on a really good sale. I also have a video where I talk about how to install a memory card and also some really good tips of things you should do once you install a memory card. I'll link that video up top right here. For our next tip, I wanna show you how to customize your home screen. We went over the lock screen. Now let's go over customizing the home screen. So first, we're gonna long press on the home screen and here is where you're gonna see the first few options, starting with the theme. So we can change the theme. There's a couple of pre-selected ones in here right now. Let's say I pick this Seaway theme. I'm gonna hit save. And this will change the background of the phone. Um, it should also change the color of the keyboard slightly. When you swipe down from the top, you'll see those colors are gonna be a little different. So that's one way to change the layout and kind of customize the phone. Now if I long press next, I wanna to go to font. And here I can swipe through a list of other really cool fonts. And you can see just how it's gonna show differently. I really like that one. I think I'm gonna stick with this font style right here. And next, hold down, go to personalize. And here you can get really granular with the details. So for example, with the colors, tap on colors. And here you can change the color of some of the menus here. Maybe I wanna use this green instead. You can change the icons and have them be themed. So there's that. But I don't like that. I'm gonna keep that the same. Let's hit save. Next, go to icon shape. And here, I'm gonna make the icons have this little bump around the edge. Just kind of a little curve around each of the edges. And you have other things like the display size for the text dark mode, you have your layout. You can actually add more apps to your home screen by changing the grid layout. So right now it's a four by six, but we can go up to a five by seven, which will make the app smaller, but it allows you to get a lot more apps on the screen. Let's go ahead and hit save. And now let's see how it came out. So there's our home screen. We can have a lot more apps on the screen now because we have an extra row and an extra column. Our font is different now and our menu colors are gonna be different. So those are just a couple ways that you can really customize the phone to make it a little more unique to you know your favorite colors and your style. Okay, and for this last tip, I wanna show you how to improve the quality of your selfies. There's a small tweak you can make that's gonna make your selfies look a lot better. So let's go to the camera and we're gonna to go to the settings wheel in the upper right corner and then tap on front photo resolution and change this to high. And what this will do is it's gonna now take pictures at a much higher resolution to make your selfies just a little bit better. They're gonna pop a little bit more now that you're at that higher resolution. And that's it. So this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you guys found this helpful. Now, obviously I only grazed the surface. There are so many other really great tips and tricks out there. And so um, share in the comment section down below what tip I shared that was your favorite. 
And also share one of your favorite tips if you already have the phone and you know some cool things. I'd love to hear in the comment section down below some of the cool tips and tricks that you know about. All right. If you got value out of the video, make sure you bump that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.